I am taking you on a before and after of my new voiceover studio. <laughs> Welcome to my bathroom. <laughs> I am taking you on a before and after of my new voiceover studio. I've never done this before. I've only dabbled in voiceovers over the years in my acting career. But as we head into the new year um, and my birthday's coming up, I'm just like, you know what? I wanna play around with it more now that I feel really settled in film and TV and acting and all that. So I'm taking you on the journey. Here we go. So I just want to show you my, so this is the closet that we're going to be, that I'm going to be uh, take, redoing. I'm going to open that for you. Don't judge what's inside right now. Let me take you with me. Okay, so as you can see, two double doors here. Right now I have some shoes here. This, I have two, love my lovely bathtub. I have two walk-in closets. However, this one over here is much smaller than this one. So I've had this idea since I moved in here. As you can see, there's nice high ceilings, um, uh, one rack that's there, and all this space here on the floor. So my plan is to soundproof it. I'm gonna bring a table um, up here and we're gonna go from there. We're gonna see the transformation. I'm thinking I'll probably take some either take all of these clothes out or maybe leave some of them in for extra soundproofing, but we'll see. I'll see how I feel. For soundproofing, of course, you see all the acoustic, um, all the acoustic foam. Um, that's what I did a lot of research on. This is one box that's arrived of acoustic foam. It's gonna be one inch, 12, 12 by 12 by one, so one inch. This particular brand, I'll link it below, has 50 pieces. However, um, in doing my research, I saw a lot of voiceover artists like to use the two inch foam. So I did buy two packs of two inch foam, but they're not here yet. They should be here later today. But I also heard that getting this foam, let's open it, let's open it. But, but before I open it, I heard that um, this comes really thin and you have to like wet it and dry it and stuff like that. So, I figure I can use this one inch maybe on, you know, you saw how big that closet was. So I'll use as much two inch as I can in the immediate recording area nook and then maybe some patches on the ceiling and use the rest of these to tack around the rest of the wall. Okay, so we're gonna open. Open very easily. have that they gave some little stickies that I don't think a lot of people use I think a lot of people use some kind of spray but I'll do more research on that and as you can see this is 50 pieces of foam and they come shrink wrapped so here we go so I'm gonna follow the instructions that I know already has something to do with um, uh, wetting them Okay, well, I just read the instructions and this particular brand didn't say anything about wetting it and drying it. I think as I was looking on YouTube, they were maybe the other brand I bought is gonna say that, but this one did not say that at all. It just says to, you probably can't see that. It just says to separate it and to lay it out for 24 to 48 hours in a ventilated space. what it looks like let me take it out so again this is the one inch so look how thin it looks very thin but I think as it sits out maybe for two days it will get thicker I will update you I will update you in two days I also bought some LED lights that are Bluetooth 
Um, I don't know much about them other than I found them on Amazon. I'll link them below and we'll see how they look once I install them. I just got, these are the two packs of 24 inch, um, not 24 inches, but it's a 24 pack of two inch foam from a different company. Um, so this, this company says you can lay them out for 24 to 48 hours. Like I'm like, I've done here with the one inch or it says I can, oops, or it says I can put it in water and wring it out and then put it in the dryer. I think I might just play with both. So let's open it. So this is also vacuum sealed. Wow, these are really vacuum sealed. Look how tight that is. And Wow, you can't even see any like ridges or anything. It doesn't look like it has any ridges at all. So it looks like it's a it's four in each. Wow. I'm curious to see. <laughs> it doesn't look like there's any ridges at all. I am very curious to see how this will turn out. Yeah, I'm curious. So once I separated it, Clearly you can see the ridges there, so time to play. Cleaning up my closet took a bit of time, so I'm sparing you the details, <laughs> but I uh, just got everything out and moved it to my other walk-in closet that is in my bathroom. And here we are, nice and empty. And I decided not to take the shelving out, but you see it's so much space in there, so I took nails. There were so many suggestions on YouTube about how to put these up. Most people said do not use the sticky little things that they gave you. And I agreed because I didn't want to have a bunch of tape, um, tape stains on my wall. So the nails are really easy. So you can see my progress. I'm so happy about that. And you see how big they got. They ended up expanding the longer they sat around. So those two inches and the one inch you see is a big difference there. And now I'm putting all the LED lights around the room. This took a while too. So the room is done. I'm just finishing up by using the stickies to put the leftover foam on the two doors that enter into the closet. I didn't want to put nails through the closet door. And here is the big reveal. I am so happy with how it came out. <sighs> my walk-in closet is now my personal studio. I even like to just come in here to, to create, to uh, warm up, so I'm not making a ton of noise if there are other people at the house. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. It was a, a passion project that I'm pretty happy with. <laughs> and you'll notice those uh, knobs on the door I had those put on because they didn't they were not there before so now i can come in and out and make sure the door closes uh very securely so i hope this inspired you i know when i was down the youtube rabbit hole i needed this video herbalife is a global multi-level marketing company founded in 1980 by mark hughes in los angeles california